All right, it's emergency time. Tonight's going to be the third night of tornado weather in Middle Tennessee in the last 10 days. So this is getting old. And I had, let's see, I had a an emergency carrier for Murray, and I could not find it. And I finally remembered I lost it in a flood. So, you know, it never gets boring here. All the people that want to move here, yeah, welcome to the club. You got to prepare for everything. It's crazy. So, just show people what I had. Okay, staples. All right, legal file box. You know, this is honestly one of these. This Murray is two feet long. See my hand here? This isn't super large, but in a pinch, he can be in there for a little while. And my husband drilled some holes on the top. I've got layers of his blankets on there. And these stack. Now, Rose can fit in here easy. She's a little bitty. Again, we got some holes on the top. Layers of blankets. I've got... That's a rice bag. Those can be microwaved. I've got another rice bag in the microwave. Just heating it uh, several times just to disinfect it. Because Rose had that on the way to the vet. Um, but yeah, you got to prepare. And I'm doing this in a hurry. It's going to be a quick video just to tell you, get this stuff ready before you need it. Because last night, not last night, night before last, I discovered that the tornadoes that were coming through when we were hiding in the basement, um, they were over my house, in my neighbor's house. They did not touch down, but they were there. It was really windy. It was scary. And I thought, where in the hell are my emergency tubs? Yeah, I said it. But I lost them in a flood. No wonder I couldn't find them, right? And that tornado snuck up on us. The whole storm, we were told, was gone. And then, bam, on my phone, right before I fall asleep, oh, you have a tornado coming your way from the next tone over. It's going to be there in two minutes. Seek shelter. Okay, so that was at 845, after a whole day of storms. So get your stuff together. Don't be stupid. Don't have so many animals that you can't take care of them in an emergency. And I'll tell you, if my house was destroyed, I have a place where these guys will be going. And it's a, a relative who knows how to take care of dragons until I can get things back on track. No big deal. But you need to have those in place. Because otherwise, they're going to be going to the animal shelter in your county and probably to somebody else. Or they're going to die. I don't know. Good luck. You can tell I'm frantic. Send good thoughts our way. The weather here has been insane this past year. A year ago, Nashville had a ton of tornadoes go through, and thankfully we moved out of there a couple of years ago. So that wasn't us, but it was. Uh, it still affected us here. We're only like, I don't know, an hour away. Oh. Good luck. Prepare. Get this stuff together. Stick it in a closet. Know where it is. And um, I wish you well. Marie, it's going to be okay, buddy. See, he's already chilling for the night. That's the only good thing is this stuff has been coming through overnight, so they're used to sleeping anyway. Yeah, you're looking at your greens. Your beautiful greens that you don't want to eat. So that's okay. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tolerating my tone. I'm scared. Sorry. Have a good one.